I'm standing in part of the site of Susita or Hippos that we believe actually was a temple area. You can see that I'm standing on top of something that looks like it was a podium, perhaps for the altar area or perhaps for the priest to stand in this area. And what you can also see is that there are a lot of enormous pillars that look like they all fell at the same angle. Now, in the Middle East, we have the Great Rift Valley that is going down the Jordan Valley, running north to south. Because of that, we have a lot of tectonic activity in this area, and approximately every 80 years, we have a major earthquake. By the way, we're quite overdue for a major earthquake right now. Perhaps we're waiting for the major earthquake when Yeshua comes and he places his feet on the Mount of Olives. But what we see here is actually the earthquake damage from 749 AD when there were probably a series of earthquakes that demolished a lot of the Decapolis cities like this one. Another one of the most famous ones would be Bet Shan and that city was really ravaged by that earthquake and it was never rebuilt on the same scale again after that. And this really rem reminds me of the scripture in the book of Revelation where it says, the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and he will reign forever. In the national park shops there's a really funny t-shirt and it names all of the empires that came through this land at different points in history. In fact at many of our ancient tells there are more than 25 destruction layers. A tell is simply a mound where civilizations built one on top of the other. So that tells us that 25 different people groups came through this land and conquered and left and conquered and left and the majority of those empires no longer exist today. The Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Romans, and so on and so on. And then the Tisha ends by saying, Am Israel Chai, the nation of Israel lives. Despite all of these empires that came through here, we are still standing strong by the grace of God in this land until today.